Commodore's Cruise 2020. What looked to be a reasonable day, um, we set out to the, to the moorings, the boats on the moorings, but then the wind started to rise and it got to about 20 knots, so we decided to come back and call it a day. Um, I took uh, my crew member Taffy home and uh, then on the way back the wind had calmed again. Um, so I decided to see what other people were doing and in the end, most of us decided it was doable, you know, uh, 15 knots, um, wind with tide as the tide was coming in, so it was quite flat. And then we decided to set off. And going out, it was great. We had a, a, a nice, um, uh, unfortunately, it was wind on the nose yet again. Uh, it seems to be the story of my life at the moment. So we were just headed off uh, through the moorings and it was a nice uh, calm water. Uh, but the wind was between 15 knots, 17 knots uh, tops. But as we got closer to Hilbury Island, then the wind picked up and we were into uh, 20 knots plus uh, on occasions. And on an ebb and tide now, uh, it was bouncy, to say the least. The waves were quite rough and most of the pictures are missing because I had to concentrate on steering the boat. Um, unfortunately, because we had a, a small child aboard, we uh, reduced the sails and motored uh, along the gaps between Hilbury Island and uh, the, the sandbanks which we were going to have our barbecue on. So, lumpy as it got, uh, sometimes there were two metre waves uh, plus, in fact, uh, as the wind got up and the channel narrowed and, uh, as I say, it was an ebbing tide. Uh, there's sometimes, unfortunately, again, I didn't get many pictures of the cats, but sometimes you couldn't see the cats because they'd gone into the troughs of the waves. We finally all made it to the beach and then the barbecue started. People got out the barbecue, uh, the beer cans arrived and the bottles, the crates of beer arrived and everyone had a really good time. Oh, it was quite windy and it was, it was quite cold. Um, I stayed in the cabin of the boat, uh, snugly and made myself some tea, uh, but it was, um, it was a good day all over. Uh, it was one of those things that, you know, would have been great if it had been sunny and, and relaxed, but it was quite windy and quite cold and very overcast, as you can see. There was not much uh, sun around at all. Then, as the day grew longer, uh, it was time the tide was coming in and the boats were beginning to float again. Uh, we had Sienna Tango on the side there and Ashlaw. Ashlaw had a few difficulties losing its dinghy in, in the mid-channel, and um, but they finally recovered it with the help from the rib, uh, who was on safety watch. Uh, while Magic, he, they parked, um, they moored just off the sandbank, uh, not far from the floating area, and they um, crew with Noel, our captain, and Andy, and Adam, uh, they had a great time. And then uh, Ashlaw uh, stranded on the bank uh, along with ourselves, uh, waiting for the tide to turn. And as the tide turned, we started to make our way home very slowly, but uh, it was enough um, because it takes us a while to get back in. And it was very low. It was only 7.5, I think it was, a uh, metre tide, which is very low for this area and difficult to get back in. The darts got ready to make their way back as, they, as the uh, clouds started to muster above us. And literally, it got to a stage where we thought, it's going to be a difficult time home. Uh, but as it turned out, um, when we were... Sailing back, uh, there's the Commodore on their way uh, back on their cat. And they set off and they were gone before we'd even 
got moving. But uh, uh, the, the weather we thought was coming in, which was large black clouds, dissipated very quickly before it got to us. And then it calmed down. And it was about blowing about 15 knots maximum at this stage. Uh, and then by the time we were halfway back to the mornings, we were down to 12 knots. And then as we were entering the mornings, it was down to five knots. And then unfortunately, we had to put the engine on because the literally the wind died on us as we came back to the mornings. Beautiful sunset. Never had such good sunsets. Um when we've been out and it was an amazing finish to the day. Very calm waters, so much so that we were able to just get in the dinghy and, and come back with hardly any swell whatsoever. Normally we would get drenched with the, the swell, um, but it was a, an incoming tide, wind with the tide this time, and so calm, so flat, it was just excellent. A uh, little, tiny section from when I was filming from the actual uh, dinghy on the way back. As I say, it was a great do uh, day, um, lots of fun. Lots of good laughs. We had a fantastic time. And from a dodgy start to an absolutely stunning and beautiful finish. Um, thanks for the Commodore. Uh, Lee Matthews, who organised it all at last minute because we cancelled it um, due to COVID. This was our route uh, that we took on the way there. You can see the narrow section by Hilbury there, which we motored around just by 84, uh, just to keep some form of level um, because of the high waves. Uh, and then we finally drifted onto the bank. Uh, but excellent day. Thanks to all who took part.